this is Devinder from ES Max Technologies and uh, this uh, recorded session is to install Eclipse for SAP UI5 projects on uh, Windows uh, 10, 7, 8, 8 dot 1. Um, to develop a UI5 application, we use Eclipse and how we install the Eclipse and what are all the mandatory uh, setups we require to work with the UI5 on Eclipse platform. To start with, first, I will summarize the complete steps. First, we need to check our bit processor so that we can install the JRE if the JRE is not installed. You might be feeling why JRE is required. Eclipse runs on the JRE. So for that purpose, we use JRE. Otherwise, UI5 is no related, doesn't have any relationship with the JRE. So to have the Eclipse, we need JRE. And then we, we will download the Eclipse and we will check the Eclipse whether it is running fine or not. And by default, Eclipse will not come with the UI5. Explicitly, we need to add the UI5 plugin. So let us start with the one. So by end of this uh, session, you will be able to get the complete information on how to install the Eclipse on uh, the Windows 7, Windows 8, 8.1, and 10 version operating system versions. So to start with first, you need to check whether you have 64-bit or the 32-bit. I hope most of the people are aware of, but still to let you know. Yeah. Just a minute. In a Windows 10, go to uh, Windows or in the Windows 7 or 8, you can start with the Start, All Programs, Accessories, and uh, System Tools. Start, All Programs, Accessories, System Tools. Here I'm directly jumping into the System Tools. which is called as an administrative tool now. All right, no problem. I can get the system information. Yeah. You need to click on the system information. So when you click on a system information, you will get the system type. So this is a 64 bit. And if that is 32 bit, it, it would have shown as x86. In that case, it is 32 bit. And if that is 32 bit, why we are checking? We need the JRE 32-bit. If the system is 64-bit, then we are have to uh, download 64-bit JRE. So first, we have checked the system requirement, system checkup, and now checking Java runtime environment, which helps to run Eclipse. First, check required JRE under this particular URL. The URL tools dot HANA dot on demand dot com. Click on SAP UI file. Just drill down. You will find the JRE. It, it should be 1.8 or higher, which is which the currently current version supports. Now, so we have checked that we need JRE 1.8. And now we will check whether it is pre-installed in our system or not. So for that, checking the JRE version. 
you have to type java hyphen version on the command prompt so to do that window run click on window run and say command and specify java my system got installed with the 1.8 and the requirement is 1.8 so i don't have any problem but in your case if you don't have the java version it will say java is not recognized as an internal or external command so on so don't worry what we have to do we you have to go to this particular url and we can download the jre so click on this uh, link again this link is available under this video as a description you can get it from there so i have navigated to the url directly you can see many are there but our interest is 1.8 so stay accept license agreement and if you are 32 bit these are the two ones I would recommend go with the offline version and if you are at 64 bit it is you can click on these 64 exe don't get confused with the number here 86 means the 32 bit and 64 means the 64 bit itself so mine is 64 bit I'm just clicking on it It may take uh, time to save it. Yeah, once got downloaded, open it. Once you open it, then you will get this pin. It may take time to get into this. Click on install. So it will take time for installation.
yeah once uh, you have downloaded the eclipse right click and extract it i would prefer the downloaded file copy to some folder here maybe in a f drive or any drive copy it and paste it there and extract there itself so saying extract don't use extract here extract files which will give you a impression so right click say extract files After clicking on OK, it is going to extract it. Again, it may take time. And once extracted, you will get a folder. And inside that Eclipse folder, now you will be able to see all these folders. So when you click on Eclipse, so you will get the Eclipse. Uh, um, app will start launching and you will be asked to provide the workspace you can go with the default or you can browse it and you can provide the workspace where all your code will be stored all your projects will be stored so you can say okay So once the Eclipse is on, you will get this uh, welcome page. You can just close it. You can say, always show, uncheck it, close this. So now Eclipse is ready, but it is not ready with the UI5 plugin. So for that, what we need to do is So we need to add a UI5 plugin from here. This is the link which is required. And you will get this link from tools.hana.ondemand.com. Yeah, okay. This is the link that you have to get. You have to use for plugin or for oxygen. This is the link that you have to use it. The way that you have to use it is Go to the help and say install new software and say add you can name anything i would name like batch 30 and yeah, i will paste the link https colon double slash tools dot on demand dot hana dot com slash neon oh there is some problem with the url it seems uh, let me go back to the url let me get it completely yeah let me get these copy it here And I will say neon, N E O N. And you can select it and say, yeah, in your case, you will get already I have installed. So say already installed. Otherwise, it would say, and say next and accept it. Say next, next, and finish. And once this is done, will ask to restart the eclipse please restart the eclipse in my case i'm just saying cancel because i have already installed and once that is done you are there to go to check file new other and check with the sap ui file oh you are there to go with the application and you can start creating 
ZUI file sample applications. Yeah, so space is not allowed, excuse me. Next, yeah, just I'm quickly starting with the page. Page finish. Yep, you can see the project is being created. So that's all for the day, my dear. Yep. So see you soon with a bit more videos. Till then, bye bye.